I'm Thomas, Thomas Verstraten, and I'm a theater director, opera director, and also a visual artist from Antwerp, Belgium. And I'm here in Basel to direct uh, the stage Die Schöpfung, an oratorium from uh, Haydn. The story of the Schöpfung is, is quite easy. It's uh, the creation uh, by God of the world in six days, and the seventh day he was very tired, so he had to rest. So the first two acts are about the six days, so how he created first the light, then all kinds of elements like water, like mountains, like animals, sea animals, birds, uh, and then finally, of course, human beings. And then the third act is a dialogue between uh, Adam and Eve, just before uh, the excavation out of paradise. I think this oratorium can tell a lot about how we live and how we organize society, how we deal with uh, things like uh, crime and punishment, how we deal with guilt. So as a theater maker, you can go lots of directions. Uh, you're very free in how to, uh, yeah, how to stage all these images and all these elements and all these, um, yeah, these, uh, these metaphors. What's the key to, to my performance is, I think, is, is a group of uh, 80 youngsters. And what I uh, imagined or what I wanted to do is, is creating two versions of the shop room. In the first version, you will see like a very naive, almost nostalgic interpretation. It will happen in the foyer. We built there a beautiful Baroque theater out of the time of Haydn. And you will see these kids uh, dressed up in the most beautiful costumes, a whale, a tree, a flower, and so on. And then uh, after this performance in the foyer, the people enter the, um, the real stage. And there they enter some kind of um, an editing room. You'll see the youngsters partly undressed, going to the city and going out to party. They have like, let's say, their premiere party. And that's something that you follow on a big screen in the big stage. The premiere of the Schöpfung is the 22nd of April. I hope to see you all there uh, to experience this crazy experience. Hopefully that it will become.